So, you know, we going today on a little trip. We finna go to Kilgore, Texas. We finna go get some stuff, just a little shopping day. We're gonna eat, having a good day today. Mom, can I record myself? You know, just a little Ave clocking in. You wanna say something to the camera? Subscribe and hit that channel, don't forget. Hit the bell. <laughs> Honey, I was in tears almost. And it has a white refrigerator. I was like, oh, oh, not a white refrigerator. Girl, please put your shoes on. Let's go find you a home, honey. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's up, Shan Shan? What you got to say? Hit the notification bell. Yeah. And hit that, and hit that thumbs up button. Yeah. Are we going to give a like? Right, I'll holler at y'all. Boom. Welcome to a day in the life vlog. My kids said they wanted to uh, vlog, so we let the vlog. oldest one vlog. Like he said, today will be a shopping day. We are getting prepared because we do go to Florida next week. So we're gonna go ahead and get prepared for that. I'm trying to shake my pockets loose right now. We definitely gotta shake his pockets loose. You need something out the store? Uh, yeah, I'm not getting I don't think they have a Celsius here. You got sweet tea? I want sweet tea. I just want my sweet tea. Oh no, we can get an icy up here. I want an icy too, but I want my little energy drink. I want icy drink. some chicken. I gotta get that icy. Ooh, and one piece of leg. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah. I want an icy and some chicken. Right there. I don't know about y'all, but y'all let me go down in the comments. This got Do one store. Do y'all eat? They got the best cheese Ooh, from the gas Daddy, station. Me? Can I get a slushy? I'm not that. No, I'm not that bougie to where I'm like, oh my god, I don't eat chicken from a gas station. Like uh -huh. I do. Oh, and mm -hmm. it be that crispy, Bro, crunchy chicken. Bro, why you didn't put your single light on huh? way down there? That's 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 definite. But it be that crispy, crunchy Bill Head, Bill chicken Parker. that um that be really good. That be getting me right there. It really do be hitting the spot. So we just left a whole gas station. <laughs> And it's about to go to another one that got that chicken at it. Because got chicken. I want that chicken. I stained you. Oh, 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 oh
boy. I didn't want to do my baby like that. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. And y'all ugly too. Y'all look like garbage. Period. With budgies in it. Who? What? Did you pee in the trash can for real? No. Did you really pee in the trash can? No way, boy. She got pulled over in the Starbucks parking lot by. Wow. That shit is crazy, bro. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way. He got all outside the vehicle, too. Oh, yeah. The whole drive through like, was shut it, down. I'm going to let it register for a minute because you like, who drives through? I'm like, I'm going to let it register. Yeah. I ain't going to even say that. Ooh, you <laughs> ugly as hell. Ooh. That I one right there. I don't. I don't know. Even know how that happened. Like you really pulled somebody over, and they in the drive-through Starbucks line had an all outside the car, honey. All outside the car. So y'all, I got this Amazon wig, y'all. It's an Amazon braided wig, and this is the unboxing. As you guys know, we are preparing to go to Florida. So I just wanted to try like a braid wig because if you guys do not know, my edges are super thin. And I mean, what little edges that I do have, I don't want the braids to take them out um, because right. it's it's too heavy. So um, I decided to do a braided wig. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got. All right, so this is the braided wig. And so much, so far. It says it's 100% premium Japan made synthetic fibers. It's lightweight, fashion, easy to wear, comfortable. That's what the bag say. Ooh, child, it look like a lot. Okay. This is what I like because I've been seeing a lot of them. They have um, like a line, like a straight up line right in front of it. Um, this one don't, that's my finger right there, y'all. Um, so it's like, it's it's lace okay it's oh they didn't even upgrade it baby it got the elastic uh bra strap thing on the inside of it that's fire and then it has its clips the regular three uh three combs it's like one here one here and then one at the back um it has that but let me show y'all this lace like the whole entire unit is nothing but lace which i absolutely love that i just need to tint it but as y'all can see, look at that. Look at that. It looks good. So, y'all, here is the unit. Um, it looks good, don't it? Don't it? Don't it? Yeah. So, I went ahead and installed it already. Um, 
just to kind of like um you know just see what it would look like and just kind of see for sure if i wanted this to be my vacation ready wig um but yeah so it, it looks good my cousin's wife my husband's cousin's wife uh she took down my old braids which y'all i had them braids up for like I want to say I want to say I had them braids up for since November of last year, either November, October, December, somewhere in there. I had those braids up since then, and so she took my braids down and redid my hair. Um, and then once the my real hair was redone, I went home and applied my wig. So this is what she's looking like, y'all, and this is a Amazon wig, Amazon girl. But anyway, my camera died. Long story short, all I was saying was that this wig came off of Amazon. Everybody keeps hitting me up on Snapchat saying like, hey girl, I love your hair. Who did it? Like, I can't believe you got braids. Da da da. Yeah, because I never wear braids. Elbow. Elbow. Yo, I ain't wore braids. This is my first time seeing you with braids since your ghetto braids. I ain't wore braids since like seven, eighth grade type stuff. Like, I ain't wore braids in a while. But yeah, so um, the weed came from Amazon Girl. It was only like 120 or maybe like 150, somewhere. No more than like 170, no more than that. But the wig is a 13 by six frontal um, that's you know made into the box braids the knotless box braids and then um the back side is just like it, it's not in other words it's not full lace girl it's not at all honey no um and but yeah so make for sure y'all are following me on my snapchat because that's where like that's who seen it first was my snapchat um all of my social media handles and this wig will be listed down below this video was not sponsored it was just me wanting to try something different uh for my summer va uh, summer vacation coming up so yeah i like i seen some of the reviews and people were saying like they didn't like it and you know when people post their pictures of it um if they aren't a good hairstylist or know how to slay their own wig or baby hairs or something like that then it won't look good but i still decided to give it a shot and i'm glad i did because i really ended up liking it i really did like even my best friend is food she was like bitch i know you ain't got braids and i was like yes bitch i do i got braids and she was like well who did your hair i gotta know who did your hair don't worry about it. don't worry about it, sweetheart don't worry about it. sweetheart they be like, hey Brandon, what you got on? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. This, that's black. Yes, it is. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so um, just want to give y'all the update. It's but right now we splash. are, right now we are headed to splash. Dallas, y'all. We got to pick up Cordell's daughter, and we may stop by the mall and probably get something to eat as well. But. Decisions, 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 decisions. See, you that one. With that one. Yeah, because I like this well, color too with that. That's and then it. I like this with that. That was the shorts. Oh, Ooh, okay. You ain't, you ain't gonna be able to do it. Challenge, move back. Oh, guys, <laughs> come on, man. Peace. Peace. love is on in a million. It goes on and on and on. You give I did a thing and I got me a new bag off of Fashion Five. 
Um, if you guys do not know anything about Fashion Foul, let me inform you. Fashion Foul is like a resale consignment type of site. Um, they still they sell new and used bags. Um, I think some of them were new, but e either way. So I bought a new. Let me show y'all. I bought a new Louis Vuitton luggage bag, and so this is what it looks like. It is the Louis Vuitton um, bandolier. Um, there it is right there. The Louis Vuitton calfskin monogram keep all bandolier. It's in the size 50. Um, as you guys can see right there. It has already been authenticated and everything like that by Fashion File. And it also comes with a little luggage tag. And as I told you guys, they already like have like people initials and stuff like that on them. So I got to give me a new red bandolier luggage tag. Yeah, because baby, who initials ain't JH is me. But it don't matter because I'm still going to make use of it. So this is what she looks like. So inside, you know, you have this pocket. It has the red lining, which is cute. And then you have the bandolier type of strap right here. And then you have the Louis Vuitton luggage bag that it actually comes with. So I can pack my bag for Florida. What you say? I can't turn them on. Everybody ready? Yeah. Ready. Family vacation. Woo I'm looking for some chapstick. Zion. Girl, I can barely see Zion you back there. Zion All right, y'all, I want to do a house tour for all my babies that follow me on my Snapchat. Um, and I'm going to try to post this story to my Instagram as well. So here is the front door, Sandy Toes Road. Um, and let me show y'all this really super nice. Like y'all, look. This is the front porch, y'all. So cute. So, so, so cute. And this is how the door opens like this. And then they got this little area. This right here falls out into a full queen size bed. But y'all, this area is to die for. I love like the little inlet cabinets. And then it has like the doors right here, the glass French doors. Love that. There go the stairs. I'm not gonna go up those yet. Here is the laundry room. Okay, so coming out the kids' room, going up the third flight of freaking stairs. Whew. Bam! Is the sun area or the top, the third floor, which overlooks the pool? What up? Can y'all hear? Yeah. Chandler. Chandler. Look at me. So, and the beach is like right over there, like right past his house. The beach. Oh no, no, I don't know, child. I think it's that way or this way. I don't know, but we're like only a few streets away from the beach. All right, y'all. This is the outside area. TC, I'ma just go look at y'all. Well, show y'all a little house. So this is the guest house right here, which y'all, we gotta get one of these at our house when we build it. 
This is too freaking cute. All right. Woo, snap. All right. So this is the guest house, y'all. I love this. Has the two um, monitors in case you have to work. Full size, well, queen size bed right here. And then restroom, shower, and then its own little kitchen. Y'all, this one bedroom, one bath situation is too stinking cute, y'all. So cute.
and it is July 15th. So yesterday was pretty, pretty fun, y'all. I really had fun yesterday. Um, what we did was we got home. Um, well, we got to the Airbnb. We just kind of chilled out, got everybody ready, which this Airbnb, y'all, it did not come with no towels. Luckily, I got laundry detergent because I wanted to wash our clothes and stuff like that before we got back on the road to go back home. Um, so luckily, I got laundry detergent, child, because this Airbnb didn't have no towels. So, um, and it's like a big air, Airbnb, and they still don't have no towels. Um, so we have to go buy some from Big Lots, and once again, shit was high. Just for like one towel, it was like eight dollars my husband said but yeah yesterday all we did was just pretty much grill steaks mac and cheese the kids ate hot dogs and chips the grown-ups ate the steak and mac and cheese and then Cordell wanted to crack open those nasty ass oysters that he just act like he know what to do with so he grilled some oyster and apparently they're supposed to be really, really good when you put them on the grill. I've had them raw and they was nasty as fuck. Like it was, it was the texture for me. Like that's what did it for me was the texture. Today we play some cards and then, um, you know, we taught Cordell's oldest that is mixed and he's never played any type of cards like that. We taught him some more of his black heritage. I wasn't gonna go too in depth and teach them how to play tongue, baby, because it was just too much at once for their little minds. But we ha we played for like a dollar last night. Like we ain't have no physical cash, but we was like, all right, I cash up you a dollar. You get what I'm saying? So we just played like that, but nobody was really just keeping score, but it was just fun. Okay, I get everything going. And it says my battery is dead. Right. So my camera died. But yeah, so this morning what we have to do is get up, fix everybody breakfast, um, go to the beach for the kids, just have a good old beach day. Um, so that's what we have planned. I'm about to go ahead Go downstairs and cook everybody some breakfast. We need to check the forecast and see how it's gonna be for the rest of the day or the rest of our trip. Cause at first y'all, when we looked at the forecast, it said that it was supposed to rain the entire time that we were there, like that while we were here. And so I was just like, man, that, that would happen like that, that would. So, we look at it yesterday on our way coming in and it said that it was just supposed to rain like um, like a few days out the week instead of the entire time. So now I'm curious to see what it's going to say now that, um, you know, another day has passed, which don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm happy as hell about that because we get to enjoy our time really. But if it's gonna rain like in the wee hours of the morning like it was last night, then cool. Now I will say this is my first time with this many box braids. Even though it's a wig still, you know, this, this is my first time ever having box braids because if you guys know or don't know, my edges are thin. I have not been diagnosed with alopecia, but um, I think it does run in our family because um, just about every single woman in my family on my mom's side, their edges are thinning. So um, knowing that, it kind of makes me feel better. You get what I'm saying? Because growing up like if somebody said anything about my hair baby that was one of my trigger points for me but um or even just telling y'all about it like it was one of my trigger points which is why y'all never see me really with my edges out because 
I know they can be thin, but now at this stage in life, I find myself becoming more comfortable talking about it um, because who going to check me? Who going to say shit? Like, I mean, at, at a certain point, you got to learn to let that senseless insecurity go and just understand that you are special. That's how God made you. And we just got to roll with it and do our best with it. That's it. And so I think I'm, I think I'm at that point. I think I'm at that point and I'm 42. Don't let me lie to y'all. I'm 32 and I'm at that point. Y'all, this stone is so freaking complicated. So complicated. Like it took us so many tries just to get this stove working. But long story short, the bacon looks good. So I can't complain about that one. Sausage patties are made. Don't talk about my sausage patties. I know they look like hamburger patties, but these are for the adults. So sausage patties are made. Let's get that over. Laundry is going. Kids are up, even though I thought they weren't going to be up this dang on early, I guess. Since we on vacation. Nah. I guess since we on vacation. You must don't know what time we get up at home. What time do y'all get up? We don't get up till like 11, 12. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I've been up at 7.30. Oh, I know you playing. Uh-huh, I was up at 7.30. Uh -huh. Some TC like. Oh, hey, also, if y'all want to get at TC, he's single. <laughs> <laughs> I always suck at rolling these out. Rolling what up? Or pulling these out. Little biscuits? Uh huh. You gonna eat a biscuit, mama? You didn't grease it. Well, no. We ain't got no grease. No, you don't have it. Girl, you can get the bug. Who's on that bacon grease? What up? Good morning, Mom. My bad. Good morning. Hold on, hold on, fuck that. Seeing you got ritualistic Cleansing my soul of a big ship for now Cause I'm falling apart TC we drunk. Yeah, TC drunk. Cordell shook back. He no longer drunk. I'm eating. And now, the chef over there, oh. Mama Wilson, then cooked some crispy golden fried chicken and some mac and cheese, child. If y'all ever take a family vacation, bring a grandparent or something. Somebody didn't know how to cook, honey. We was all out there having fun. And my mom was cooking. Cause she, sure was gonna hate if I had to come cause she's a simp and don't want to get in the water. <laughs> no. I'll go to the beach. Why go to the beach? You might want to go check on TC though. I don't know what I'm What was he doing up there? Laying down. I don't know. 
He heard he got a shake back. He go sleep. He eat when it's time to eat. He ain't used to playing and taking shots. Yeah, we. That boy gonna be sleep. Oh, he gonna be playing my uh, playing at the the cleaning fee for it. Shit. So TC done threw up, y'all. Cause it's as wheat sauce. Too bored to be this day. I was drinking. I drank all my drink up at the beach too. to the beach we didn't really get much time the first day we really just chilled in our pool and then the second day um the rain came and rained us out and so we just chilling at the beach just happy my mama get to experience the beach <laughs> how was your beach experience nice she said it's nice but y'all i gotta i gotta chill out my stomach hurting I got that sweet alcohol in my stomach bubbling a little bit, so I gotta relax, honey. I gotta relax, cause um, down here in Florida, y'all, like it's like, like okay. So I didn't know that the hotels could reserve like a portion of the beach. So you'll see all these cabanas and stuff like that set up, but they are reserved for the people like that rent the hotels and stuff like that. Like they'll have the whole area blocked off, right? Well, you got to go down to like the public access part. And then once you go down to the public access part, you got to try to find a parking spot. That's what's so crazy. Luckily, we found a parking spot pretty quick and we were able to, um, you know, get out, have fun and park. But everybody's out there at the water having fun. I think I'm going to take my chair out there and uh, go sit out in the sun and get a tan because I really want to get tan. But the only down part about that is that my foundation shade gonna mess up, and uh, the fact that baby, we ain't bring nobody, nobody sunscreen, and my face is already feeling like it's stinging. So I just know, I just know I'm gonna be sunburned on my face at least.
night three. And we back playing deuces, child. Night we playing for 50 eight. cent. Jack Cullish. I don't need that Jack. Eight. You need that Jack? Yep. I'll take that eight. Why? You better wait. You do you need eight. that? You better wait. Do you need the eight? I don't need that damn fuck ass baby. I'm out. What? Son of a gun. That's why that nigga come on. Bye, the lady child. Dang! Okay. He don't want it. Let me borrow 50 cents. <laughs> That's my 50. I'm playing. That's my 50. I really need so, to get there for you to be on the We board. went to the beach today. Y'all had fun. Money, all right. I laid out pretty much, y'all, and. Got a tan. Like, no, Other than that, I didn't want to bring my camera because honestly, truth be told, two years ago you on this, uh, yeah, mama. it's my mama deal. Two years ago on this same, around this same time, um, I took my Canon G7X Mark II to the beach and remember it fell in the sand and it didn't want to close right because it had sand in the lens. So it was stopping it from... No. Uh, yeah, it was pink. I had it pink. Yeah. Oh, that's why you get those things at the house. That's yeah, why she bought that expensive one. Yeah, yeah. I cut up in the trash can. No, you can't throw it in the trash. She was just at my house. Good. Hey, trash is still good. Cut it, cut that shit. It's still good, it's just not. Somebody got a pink case, too. Uh huh. Yeah, it's at the house. She said she got throw it away. She can? Yeah, she said it can't do the pink on the junk. Let me put it up. Did I put it up? Y'all ain't. Yo, y'all gotta three. come on up. Three. There's only three I'll people up. I put up, I'm four. Okay. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. This, this she over here trying to cheat. Everybody up. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. We gotta get them out the street, baby boy. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna grab some of your calls. Let me touch my uh, Okay. Get that one. Get that one. Girl, you can't deal, can you? Let me see, I know somebody needs that ice. Mm-mm, I hate it. That's on me anyway, I ain't need nobody Dang, need it. Dang, don't nobody need it? You don't need it, TC mm -hmm. fat hand that. You better speak up, boy, for I, boy, I would've pulled, you would've been out of there. Mama need that salmon. I don't need that salmon. I'll take it, I'll take it. Throw me out of there. There you go. All right. Damn, that mother get the slide, this slide. Hold oh. on. Throw me out, mom. Six. That's me. That's six. I'll make that I'll six. Make that six. six. Oh, fuck, I ain't even playing. Hey, hey, What's that, a nine? I don't need it. I don't need it. Throw me out. Nah, the king's dead. There you go. I need it. What's that? It comes towards me, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are. Yeah. I did. <laughs> Who had my eight? I had the three too. I did. I won't release it. Okay, that's me and her. Good morning, y'all. It is day four, and I am up cooking breakfast for everyone. This camera battery is about to die, so. I gotta go upstairs and change it out here in just a second, but we are, uh, I think today we're gonna try to go to the pool and just relax and let the kids have fun. We didn't go to the water park because it was just gonna be too much trying to get the kids there. It closes at 6 anyway. Uh, we probably would have made it there by like 2, 2.30. All the lines would have been crazy and everything, so we decided against that. Um, so we just took them to the beach yesterday. So like I was saying before my camera died is that took the kids to the beach, we came back home, chilled, played cards. Today we're just gonna pretty much have them chill at the pool. Um, and later on they'll go crab hunting at the beach at nighttime. We're supposed to be trying to go out to eat to like uh, a um, seafood restaurant down here because we really didn't cook seafood while we were here. Um, so we're gonna try to go experience that like you know like those um like when they mix all your stuff up like a seafood boil is what I'm trying to say so we're gonna try to experience that somewhere um but also update on the pieces stuff 
So we called Pizza Hut, right? And where I messed up was, I didn't ask them about no specials. Well, um, I got four large pizzas. They were all like, one was, well two was me. Two was meat lovers and two was pepperonis. Um, and the dude was like, for with delivery included, that was like $123. I was like, oh no, oh no, we're not doing that. Um, and so we went to Domino's because yesterday we were just so exhausted from the beach. Well, so we went to Domino's and the first thing I asked them, I was like, okay, so what's your specials? And so they said the specials were $5.99 medium pieces. So we got four medium pieces um with two toppings and a thing of wings for 45 dollars that sounds more reasonable other than 123 dollars like who would do that who would buy a pizza for that much like i don't to be real i don't even think i was calling the right number if that was, if it was gonna cost 123 dollars like if, I, I couldn't have been calling the right number i could have been I couldn't have been. It must have been like a scam or something like that, baby, because ain't no way a pizza costs $123 just for four large pieces. And a thing of wings. the pool y'all your girl is very dark and melanated to say the least get a tower laid outside for about an hour and a half tanned because i really am trying to get really dark i just like a all over dark skin tone that all looks like uniform it really looks cute to me I'm about to hop in the shower, baby. Wig is, whew, wig looks a mess, honey. Wig looks a mess. Like, look, girl, wig looks a mess. <laughs> Ooh, baby, I gotta fix you. I gotta fix you. All I'm about to do is just, ladies, baby hairs, how I want to get this little white little stuff out of my hair and then I'm gonna lay it back down with my um I'm gonna lay it back down with my my edge wrap that I got so I have come to the conclusion that all these little spots over here are um vacation and rental spots um and nobody stays here because each one of the little houses I see that they have like the little property sign outside outside of it like um managed by so and so so and so so that's why i'm like oh okay all these must be little little spots that people have rented out for like airbnbs like it's nothing but a block of houses and like people have rented them out well, not people. I don't know if these are actually like real people houses, but pretty much the whole entire block is nothing but Airbnbs. That made me come to the assumption that these homes are not really inhabited by people and are inhabited by um, like companies. Like these must be houses that companies have bought to specifically do for like Airbnb purposes. That's my thought on that. Because every single house on this block has like a sign in the yard that says like, you know, who their, um, like who their company is and like the company's information and website and stuff like that. So, <sighs> but y'all, one thing about braids, honey, cause I mean like th this is a wig. So I really just didn't, you know wash my hair like as if it was like my real hair which my real hair is up under here but 
<laughs> Let me tell y'all. These week, this week, dang. This it, and it, it's not like that. It's just that it's thank because I got in the ocean yesterday. When I noticed that yesterday, when I didn't wash my hair out from the ocean, babe, the hair had a smell. It will hold the smell. So just FYI, if you get this wig and you take it to the ocean and it get wet, like your scalp and everything gets wet, it's gonna stink. But I just know that when I get home, oh baby, she's coming off. She's coming off, off. And she may just be coming off today just so I can let my uh, natural hair breathe. I don't know, but anyway, y'all, I'm about to take my shower, so. All right, y'all, so this is the <clears throat> look, honey. So I just did a light little makeup. Um, I'm really trying to find some good lighting, but just a light little makeup, nothing too much. I didn't do no concealing up under my brows or nothing, because I still want to go with like the little barely there type of makeup but let me put this camera down and show y'all the fit so outfit from she in i just got it kind of not really buttoned up um but don't say nothing if y'all see this outfit again because i'm going on a cruise august 1st so i will be wearing this outfit again on my cruise so this little like i said this little outfit is a large from she in i thought it was really really cute and very very fitting like for vacation um i redid my hair like i told y'all and i put his hair in a little fake little faux little ponytail that you still like your hair like this or you want to take it down i want it like this for mom i need my hey dudes oh lord y'all i really just <laughs> threw something up there i ain't have no ponytail holders all i had was bobby pins chat so, I need socks. No, you don't. How do James get to get socks? You don't need no socks. I need some. For what? I want to wear some. But yeah, so, change of plans. We were supposed to just cook burgers today, but everybody decided that they wanted to go eat, so we are headed to go to foot ruckers or something like that to go eat instead of cooking well i mean we are gonna cook we're gonna just cook tonight when we're just gonna cook hamburgers but that's one thing i will say man this these plans have changed every day like we had some plan and then next thing you know is being changed but either way i can so i just go along for the ride honey What's your show ass up? My mama looks so pretty, y'all. She looks so pretty with Aww. her purple lipstick. <laughs> okay, guys. Hi, girl. Hi. Boy, you in this ponytail. Jason. Chandler. I got a going on. Family vacation. It don't look like it needed much. Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna wait because uh, I ain't finna get in no bushes. Yeah, the front of this house. Uh oh, sorry, mom. Front of this house is so cute. I like the little porch. Oh, and it's kind of like a wraparound. That's cute. But yeah, like every house out here, it has like the little signs and stuff like that for like vacation rentals and stuff like that. So.
up Truck to the hotel lobby Me, I go through underground garages Presidential suites on the closet Elevator up to the room Shower up and then we hit the club Touchdown, gotta see what's up Area code in my phone What numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man Hit another one, it goes green Must have changed foes on the team Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017 All good, Chuck, to look around Find one to see my type Damn my dog and he know what I like He done found me plenty in my life Problem is I meet his girl tonight Then I go and treat her too nice Got a real credit card swipes I don't even know if she a wife But I do know one thing though Women, they come, they go Saturday through Sunday, Monday Monday through Sunday, yo Baby, I love you one day Baby, will someday grow Till then I sit my drunk ass on that runway On this one way Long story short, Fud Puckers was not that good. Um, it was definitely not worth the wait. We were definitely expecting to spend way more money than we did, which was a good thing though. Um, we, for like me, Cordell, my mom, and the four kids, we spent 175, which isn't bad for all of us to go out to eat. We've spent way more, but, um, yeah, mm -mm. my face is so greasy, yeah, but yeah, so it wasn't worth the wait. The food was definitely, like, the food is definitely better in Texas, like, I can do without the food, baby, like, if, if somebody said that was going to be my last time going to that restaurant, I would have been like, okay, cool, that's fine with me, because, yeah. It wasn't all that great to begin with. Um, so came back home now and mind y'all, we made it there at 5.50. We didn't sit down to eat until like almost, like we, we waited two hours, like in other words. So we didn't sit down to like 7.50 to eat, which is ridiculous for that nasty ass shit. That's why I was just like, bro, <laughs> yeah. And it's a Sunday, a Sunday. I would hate to see what their Fridays or um, Sunday, uh, Saturdays look like. Because if that's what y'all doing on Sundays, oh baby, I could just imagine what Friday and Saturday look like. But yeah, so we just did that. Um, came back to the house, took the kids to the beach to go see some crabs. Um, just got back from that, washing this makeup off, y'all. And your girl gonna get in the bed early, honey, cause I, I'm just not feeling it. Like, I'm, mm -mm, I'm tired. Plus, we gotta get up early. Check out is at 11. That's the only thing that I hate about hotels and stuff like that. They don't let you check in until like three, four o'clock, which this, um, this Airbnb, we couldn't check in until four, but they want you out by 11. Like, I, I don't, I don't be liking that, but what happened to the good old days where checkout was like at one? What happened to those days? I, I guess they gone. I guess they gone. I guess COVID, um, made them go away too. Got a long drive tomorrow. Back to the house, back to reality. That'd be the only bad thing about um, being on vacation is that you gotta go back, back to your normal life. I'm ready nonetheless because I'm ready to see my dogs. I know my dogs are like, where the hell are these people at? Why they ain't came back for us? The, um, the lady that's boarding them, she sent us some photos and Y'all know I got a French Bulldog. My French Bulldog 
is just looking like she over it. Like, <laughs> she does not look happy. I'm gonna try to insert a picture of french fry, but french fry just does not look like she's having it. Not at all. Oh! Damn! They tried to get you, huh? Why you not getting in? Head. The brace of match is a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would've went corporate. She wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Chevy, who am on back? They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get, ayy. 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 She want me to play with that cat, ayy. She love how I make it on